These are the very best. The Speckies, the Sliders, the Jugglers, the Marks of Courage. All together for the first time on Miracle Marks. And what about the long bombs, the super snaps, and the fabulous long runs? The best you've ever seen in Golden Gold. Out on videos now, Golden Gold's Miracle Marks. Get your copies at these stores now. Break into the vault for Christmas. The sensational 70s. The electrifying 80s. The decade that delivered. 30 years of heroes. Six and a half hours of highlights for only $59.95. Go on, break into the vault at these stores now. It's the emblem of the team we love. The team of... story at these stores now.
Schwartz got rid of his man, Farmer didn't take it, then hooks, and hooks pretty well. I think he might have got it. Let's go back to where it all began. Melbourne was coming off nine straight losses in 1999, and despite a couple of wins over St Kilda and Adelaide in the Ansett Australia Cup pre-season series, had not changed all that much. The worst fears were realised in the opening match when Richmond kicked seven first quarter goals and opened a 22 point lead at three quarter time. The last quarter was a beauty, but while Melbourne kept the Tigers of new coach Danny Frawley goalless, they kicked only three from eight chances and lost by two points. Well, that's that technique in kicking and uh, this is the ninth time to three they've been inside the 50 this quarter, Bruce, which is uh, a big number. This is close, it's a goal, Kirby just kicked one. Quickly on, in board, McDonald, look away handball, Phoebe goes for goal and gets his second for the quarter. White, Powell and Uze the best with five players each chipping in with a couple of goals. Look, I was really happy with their resilience to hang in there. I think it's something that uh, um, they can hang their hat on. Um, we had our opportunities and uh, we, did, we didn't take them. So. Uh, from that point of view, um, you know, it was disappointing at the end. But you're right, you know, they, <clears throat> they went inside their 50 in the first quarter 13 times. They kicked seven goals, one. Um, and to be five goals down at half time, you're always going to be up against it. But to our credit and the credit of the boys, the young team, they, uh, they hung in there. And with a, with a bit of luck and maybe one going through, we might have been able to sneak the game. But that's the way it goes. Cook to Schwartz. Schwartz, little one inside, OK, this will be a goal. Bruce has kicked his second. In round two, the new boys, Cook and Green, kicked ten between them as the lowly demons of 99 upset the reigning premiers, leading all night against the Kangaroos to win by 25 points and end that horrid losing streak. Here's Cook with a chance. Now he's got McDonald inside, can have a shot. It's a good kick, it's a goal. He's got it. Their blokes aren't Wayne Carey in there now, so they can't play the same game. Paul Wheatley gets his first run. I think Ingerson's off. Yep. Leon Chelly. So look at the run. To Powell. Wide to McDonald. Got it. They're playing confidently. Now Wheatley may get a touch in, no. He's number 31, by the way. Good kick inside. That's a terrific kick to Uze. It's a beautiful kick. Oh, oh, good stuff. Great view from behind here. That's there. It's fading. To oh. go. We all have nightmares of Gary Ablett. <laughs> Schwartz. Still Schwartz. Green again. Oh, Green, Green again. That's Kicks the take. goal. One grab everything. Hasn't had a lot of disposals, but one grab all the time. Schwartz missed it. Cook. Could he have a late shot? Not much time. Bruce is going to have to kick it now. He does. He's got another one. Bruce has kicked four on the siren. The kick to centre half forward. An early goal would be damaging. Green had a bit of it. Still to be one good handball out. Cook's got a chance here. That's a good kick. That's a terrific kick. He's kicked five. Off the ground. Walsh loved his game. Loved his game. This would be fitting. Tart comes off King. Goes to Simpson. Throws it away in the end. And ping. Great Melbourne tackle. to win it. Melbourne have won it. Walsh tackle again. He's not going to allow it. The umpire, or is he? Robertson's kicked the goal. It's a goal to Robertson. The Demons are home. Cook six, Bruce and Robertson four each, and those three were simply outstanding. Got it from Powell. Good kick inside. Leon Chelly can arch his back and go for it, and he does from 50. It's close. It's a goal. Leon Chelly's kicked the goal. There would be no good start against the Swans in Sydney a week later. In fact, the Demons came from seven goals down at the last change and with a blistering final quarter, went within 11 points. It would be too little, too late. Powell, still Powell, trying to find some space left footer. Seacamp with a chance. Good kick, going and going and a goal. And here's the ball going in his direction. Woe Woden kicks to the front. It's a goal. It's a goal from Woe Woden. Matthews' kick is a bit wayward. A ball to be won. Luff versus Seacamp. Well played, Seacamp. Can't quite get the handle away. Terrific stuff, Matthews at Seacamp. Woe Woden. Lovely kick. Leon Chelly running, running, run down. Gets his kick to the goal square. It's a goal. It's a goal for the Demons. McDonald, 60 metres out. Kick right there. Schwartz has got it. Great grab. Schwartz. Nicks. Schwartz. 
Not much percentage. Farmer, big kick coming up. Uh, I think he's got it. Farmer's kicked it. Melbourne has still a chance. Well, Woden in stunning Brownlow form. Farmer and Leon Chelly, three goals each. This will be costly. Melbourne will go forward here. Kick by Uze in towards full forward. Farmer! President Joseph Gutnick delivered a couple of telling blows to the AFL Commission in his pre-game speech at the MCG, then watched his demons belt the Saints to the tune of 90 points. Demons go forward again. Head past James McDonald to Anthony McDonald. Anthony McDonald's kicking towards full forwards. A good kick. The ball spills. Jeffrey, 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 Jeffrey! And Harvey over the top. Oh, good work. The releasing handball by Woden. Oh, McDonald's scruffy kick. Oh, oh. Do the job. Oh. did the job. It won't win any awards. Play by the big man for the Demons. He kicks in towards half forward. Punched away. Gathered beautifully by Uze. He has mopped that up and kicked a oh. goal. Oh. Oh. Back onto his left. They'll get a goal there, won't they? Oh. Powell kicks it nicely, and Robertson. <laughs> Contest, good knock down to James McDonald. He tries to get around, gets it to Gergic. Gergic, shot for goal by Brittany. Gergic, <laughs> of the Demons. Goes in towards half forward at the back. Robertson couldn't take the mark. Chance for McDonald. Walsh, back to McDonald. He couldn't gather it. Delaney. Big Damien goes down. Uze. Oh, magnificent foot skills. Soccer style stuff. And the goal of the day! Adam Uze! This is Bruce for Melbourne, one of the stars of the future. Kicks the ball in towards the centre of the ground. Taken away by uh, Uze. Kicks it in towards the full foot. And Robertson is marked. Could all easily have been goals. Right in front. You couldn't get any more than directly in front of goal, He's and home. you couldn't get any more positive kick at goal. Eventually, uh, Uze kicks it forward. It bounces awkwardly at half forward. Not to the advantage of uh, Davis, gathered by Gugic. Long hand pass. Don't tell me in the dying seconds of the third term, Ryan is going to get a goal. <laughs> Ragoni into the middle. Jeff White thinks opening up. It's a very open forward line for the Demons. Tried to poke it through to Robertson, but they've got numbers at the footy, oh, Gergic, yeah. too easy, too easy, too easy, oh. he's took it. And real encouragement for Melbourne fans, the uh, performance of guys like Green and Bruce who went back, and this is what about this jump one of, yeah, one of Russell Robertson's best games for the club, long kick, Wakeland again, he's got Neats to contend with. The area you, you fall down in. No doubt. Neats is... Kicked pretty well. He's kicked it. It's a goal. He's been terrific, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Lenny hates his opponent early in the game. Oh. Well, Farmer oh. bounces up to his feet. Gurgic oh, on his own in the oh. square. Well done, Jeffrey. And another one coming oh. up <laughs> to the Demons. Demons. Wakeland well back behind him as the kick goes out to half forward. McDonald. Little sidestep was beautiful into Farmer. So Farmer from 40 and a half metres. Oh, he might have kicked it. Oh, to go. Sets it up to the top of the square. Oh. Robertson has Hell been on easy. fire today. Time the play on. Bruce hooks the kick. Goes into the opposite pocket. And the, that's a mark. That is a mark to Green. Green going with the check side. I think he's dobbed it. Well done by the young player. Neats or did his best to run around the ball. In the end, he had to get a quick handle well, away. Four to one, actually. And they can do whatever they like at the moment. Whelan's kick is inside 50. Robertson, what a day he's had. Big grab to Russell Robertson. That's his ninth mark. Either way, he's done a great job, and that's a great way to finish it off. Of the 25 goals scored, Farmer chipped in with five, 
Green and Robertson each kicked four, while Woe Woden was clearly the best man on the ground. Taken down, but not before he got the hand pass away. Parker had it knocked away. This is Uze. In the round five encounter in Perth, Shane Wowoden took another step towards his Brownlow medal with a faultless performance against the Dockers. If there was a downside to the win, it was Melbourne's inaccuracy, with four goals from 15 scoring shots keeping Fremantle in the game until half time. Shane Wowoden inside the centre square, kicks to centre half forward. Van Walsh hit the ground running, plays on from 45 metres out. Wonderful kick. Leon Shelley and Wo Woden, it's a powerful quartet. Brilliantly done white to Leon Shelley. Now towards half forward, reaching over the top. Robertson, kick it, missed it. McDonald, Gergich, 35 metres out. Melbourne have got another one. I would uh, be leaning towards their way to win this one. Angerson kicks it out. Hitting hard was Waterhouse. It spills to Phoebe again, getting a lot of the ball. White in midfield, alongside the centre circle, kicking down towards half forward on the lead, James McDonald. Got that late goal in the previous term to Uze from long range. Uze, brilliant shepherding by Schwartz. Great start, Melbourne. Schwartz kicking three goals in a 31-point win. Woe Woden again best of field. Oh, look, it's always tough, tough to win over here. Um, we come over yesterday and we had to spend um, all day here and really we're playing at uh, 10 past 10 at night, Melbourne time. And uh, I think that has a little bit to do uh, with the sluggishness out of the blocks, you know. I don't know why we're playing at 10 past uh, 8, but uh, anyway, we were. We were a bit uh, tardy early and, and the Dockers had plenty of energy. But uh, our, team, uh, our team can play four quarters of footy. And, that, and uh, that won them the game, you know, uh, five goals to one, the Dockers looked really good. But we, we kept at it, we kept at it, and uh, our running game stayed there. And uh, look, we made our mistakes, so did they, but uh, we kept at it. And uh, look, I thought we were very well led tonight by a Western Australian, Shay Wai Woden. Thought he was tremendous. I thought our uh, midfield gradually got on top. Powell uh, come on the ball there and did a good job. And, I thought Jeff White was probably the best big man on the ground, and it was, um, and all of a sudden now uh, our forward line started to get a bit of the ball, and and their forward line started to dry up, you know. So uh, it was a great win coming from uh, you know five goals to one down, and I think maybe we might have, might have won by a bit more if we kicked straight. A reality check was provided by Geelong at Shell Stadium in round six as the Cats closed down Melbourne's midfield. A solitary goal in the third quarter proved costly. Fifty metres up. Still going. Now gives the hand pass away. Liam Chelly, what can he do? He goes for goal and got another one. The Wizard. Want a bet? No, I don't want a bet. The Wizard! He might have dropped that one. What a goal. What a goal. I want the three-quarter time siren. They've got a minute and a half remaining. Maybe Anthony McDonald could do something. Kicks in towards Wo Woden. Takes a strong mark. So far, just one behind for the quarter. Wo Woden, 45-degree angle. Guides it through for their first goal of the term. Neats leaves it for McDonald. He's in trouble. Around the body. He gives the hand pass to Robertson. Robertson's 10 metres out, and he's got it. Woe Woden stunned the umpires with his shock of white hair and would win the votes. His solo performance not enough in a 25-point loss. Taken by Braun. Braun close to the boundary line, looking forward, and then kicks with his left. Good mark. Some may have called Colonial Stadium home in 2000, but when thousands were turned away for the Demons' Round 7 clash with the West Coast, the AFL's new showpiece was called plenty of other names. Out of the chest of Farmer. Whipping through, that was a terrific work to get the Demons going from Wheatley. And now Uza, who's so creative. Low pass, Robertson charging out. Oh. oh, he charged out and made it his. White gets the ball down. Leon Chelly back to White. In turn, Gergich straightens up and kicks it emphatically in towards half forward. Knocked away by Metropolis. Tried to hack it out of midair. <laughs> Farmer will kick a goal. 
Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey. That's brilliant. Brilliant. As we watch Adam Uze go for Melbourne's eighth goal. They lead by 18 points all the way to the goal line. Kemp crashing in. Walsh hasn't kicked many goals, I wouldn't think. He's Good kicked player. one here today, though. And they'll be well pleased with their start to the year. I think openly admitting before the season started that they weren't really expecting to make the finals at the moment. They look a very potent combination. And Jeff White is a star. Jeff White back to the form of 98. And with Jeff Farmer kicking seven, including a third quarter gem off the ground, Melbourne had put together its best win in 13 seasons against the Eagles. Pulled off his kick. James McDonald crashes in there. Boy, he went in hard with Paxman. Danaher took his players to Football Park, where Schwartz with four goals and the brilliant Woe Woden at the very top of his game proved too strong for Port Adelaide. Kicks from about 47. Beautiful kick for a goal. He's a very bouncy player. Can take a very good mark, some loose checking. McDonald, 45 metres out. Kicked a goal. And the free kick goes to Ingerson. The crowd still hooting. Away to Lee and Shelley. He's kicked towards centre wing. Gergic takes the mark. Dashes away from Kingsley. Up towards attacking 50. In the back. Play on, says the umpire. It comes to Schwartz. The hand pass. And the shot for goal by McDonald is... Beams. He's got it. Very athletic. He's an exciting prospect. He's been one of the young guns who have come through for Melbourne this year. And there's the big hands and the big grab taken by Schwartz. Two goals in a minute to Melbourne. Will be pretty handy. Schwartz directly in front. Hammers at home. Yeah, Steve Paxman. Uh... And look at this. They can raffle it. Bingo. McDonald. From 25 metres out, kicks a goal. Just tumbles the ball back. McDonald backtracks, concedes ground. I thought he may have stepped over the line. Leon Challey again retreats. Back to White, to Powell. Combines well. He's been a damaging player. Chance for Uze. He's got it. 30 metres out. Pops it through. Demons in front. Also on the interchange bench. Haven't seen too much of Stephen Pitt, who's returning to AFL football for the first time in four years. Here they go, the D's. McDonald right in front. Good kick. It's his third. Now Andrew Lee and Shelley. Another short kick. This is good movement of the ball and a big chance for Wheatley. He approaches the 50. Wheatley goes bang into the breeze. A magnificent kick. Just outside the 50. There's a big chance it comes to Powell, front of the pack. Beams, good mark. Beams for a bit of a steadier, even though Melbourne lead. 40 metres out, gets the goal. Six minutes remaining in the third quarter. So Port better get a wriggle on because they're going to run out of wind assisted time soon. Well, Woden comes into Robertson. See that ball holding up in the breeze. Wilson camped underneath it. And a terrific climb from the back. Magnificent mark by Green in front. 50 metres out. Into the breeze. Oh, that is a great kick. He's got the breeze at his back. To the square. It's going right in line. Primus hits it hard and he's got it. Primus with the mark. Shot for goal. From 10 metres out. Primus, his second goal. He's nailed it. Three against one it was too much for Carr. They'll share the ball around Rigoni to the run of Leon Shelley to Beams. A dangerous player. Half smothered off the boot. No mark. Cameron Bruce recovers. Quick snap. Great kick. The midfield providing the drive through Powell, the Bulldog discard, through McDonald, Guy Rigoni and the rejuvenated Jeff White. In defence, the skipper and the veteran Steve Phoebe were terrific. not let themselves be frustrated. Simmons again. He takes them on and dumps it long, hoping for a mark. There were 62,606 at the MCG the following Sunday, 
Those at the official lunch heard the president continue his outspoken campaign against the AFL commission, with Farmer missing through injury and White restricted to the forward line with shin problems, the firepower was depleted. Melbourne would have three more shots at goal in the first half, yet trailed by almost three goals. Dumping kick, Simmons is the target, clears the lot. Cameron Bruce has gone mad and put it through. Well, handball off, and Wheatley, a fly oh. shot at goal by Wheatley. Just so I noticed with Scott Lucas there, just dropped his head when he got beaten by Gergi. The lead provided by David Neitz, gathered by Uze, he's a goal. Got to so go back and give it a He's got to kick this. Go back and give it a good shot. He's got Neitz down there, so he has got a target. He's got to get to him one-on-one. -on -one. He does get to him one-on-one, -on -one and oh, he's yes. got it. So well done. If there was something to come out of the match, it was the final margin of 13 points. No team had come that close to toppling the mighty and unbeaten Essendon juggernaut. Yeah, they were. Um, and also the ability not to uh, put the score on the board. I think uh, we had uh, two goals, six in the first quarter. And I think they kicked two in the last minute in the first quarter. Then they kicked two again in the last minute of the second quarter. Then Lloydy kicked one in the last, third, last second of the third quarter and it just kept that buffer where I thought our uh, endeavour was really good. Uh, um, it was, uh, I think we had six blokes that played less than 10 games and I learned from that uh, the pressure and the ability to make the, the right decisions. We, you know, we overused the ball through the middle without getting it down there quick enough and uh, we'll learn from that. A lot of these blokes, the first time they've, or one of the few times they've played in this sort of pressure atmosphere and I thought they were terrific. They, uh, they cracked in. Look, we made some errors and and uh, and, uh, and and that, and allowed them to get some goals really late in quarters, which uh, at the end we weren't able to get back. But uh, they muscled it out. We went down by 13 points. Seventh, and the Lions 11th. And the Lions looking to make it to three wins in a row here. At On a Monday night at Colonial, we caught a glimpse of the future as Cameron Bruce came off the bench and kicked two goals that would seal the game against the Brisbane Lions. With Neat's superb in defence taking 14 marks and gathering 31 possessions and White dominating the rucks, Melbourne might well have wondered how it got into such a last quarter quandary. He can put the Brisbane side's defence under pressure with this kick. White up high, couldn't take the mark. Simmons and eventually Look at this. Look at this. Farmer. Farmer shot at goal. It's a goal! A goal. David Schwartz shepherds it through and the Wizards done it again. Gathered by Farmer, handball into the clear. McDonald goes back to Powell. Look at the bloke on his own in the pocket. Stephen Powell hasn't spotted him. What? Now he does, and he kicks to the long, lanky, leaping Jeffrey White. Scores a level. They won't be after this kick. He must score something. He scores a goal. Three goals each. To the two Jeffreys for the Demons, Jeffrey Farmer and Jeffrey White. Scott is on the half back line. Brisbane badly want a goal. Black turned Missed. his back on it. He turned his back on it, and the door opens for Whelan. He is a goer. He gives it away quickly, and the long kick is another one. Another one kicked by McDonald. Anthony McDonald has kicked his first goal. Coming back on is Nathan Brown, and having a spell is Paul Wheatley. What, what, what can the Schwarter do? The Here he man. goes. Penetrating hand pass backwards. Kick it off, goal, it's there! McDonald and Kelly! And the umpire will call for a bounce. Still just a kick in it. Four points in favour of Melbourne. White doing the ruck work, takes it out of the air, handballs it away to Whelan. Whelan's got no one really to kick to. He'll straighten up and then go with the left and kick it to the opposition who is Aaron Shattock. He goes in towards the centre. Chris Scott looking to set it up, and he does. He just pops it up to half forward. Out comes Ingerson. Melbourne have got the, book, the numbers when it hits the deck. Rigoni, look at this, here's a goal. Here's an absolute goal. Cameron Bruce hasn't been on the ground for ages. Kick a goal, Cameron. Kick a goal, Cameron. <laughs> He didn't push. He grabbed on. It was like a caboose on a train. He just grabbed and held on. 
in towards full forward. Huskus comes out, can't take it. Oh, here's the sealer, is it? Here Bruce is again. the sealer! Bruce again. He's two kicks, loving two this young Cameron. White and Farmer three each. Neats White and Powell outstanding. Yeah, plenty of the share of the ball, just not hurting when they go forward. Oh, oh. that's it. Cruel bounce, but the second trip to Football Park inside a month again highlighted Melbourne's wayward kicking. Against Adelaide, they would have 30 scoring shots, the same as the Crows, but kick a woeful 8.22 in a 35-point loss. Schwartz and Farmer right off target with five behinds each. Yeah, good kick. Very good kick. As Bickley kicks the Crows into their forward half, big punch by Simmons gives White the chance. He feeds it off to Leon Chelly. Gee, they should score a goal here. Robertson goes long and accurately. Terrific goal to Robertson, his second. Young Whelan getting some uh, valuable experience today. He's a good young player. Leon Chelly runs to the 50. One on one, Smart and Farmer for one more time. Farmer! So at the halfway mark of the home and away season, Melbourne was sitting seventh with six wins. There had been good signs, and there had been plenty to worry about. The Demons got the accuracy worked out the following round against the Bulldogs at Colonial, but after leading by nearly six goals at half-time, they were overrun. Danaher and his staff had done their homework perfectly in that first half as they cut out the Dogs' midfield run, but then could only look on as the Demons kicked three second-half goals to 12. White with four, Neitz two, Rigoni and Schwartz best in a disappointing loss. Carlton would provide the third in a hat-trick of mid-season losses and easily the worst of the season. In the game until half-time, Melbourne was swamped in the second half, losing by 98 points. Plenty were prepared to write off Melbourne as the team slid to eighth. From last year. I know they were grand finalists, but the Blues have gone up a few cogs, no doubt about that. Schwartz, 45 metres out, needs to kick a goal for the Demons and does. Hands and knees, Silvani tried to just crash the ball out, unable to do so, <laughs> tough in the clinches, running into some roadblocks here, across the half back line, picked up by Walsh, 50 metres out, unloads, big kick, he's kicked the goal. Schwartz, the only multiple goal kicker. Were Woden, Leon Shelley and Powell the best in a forgettable encounter? Yeah, the last, uh, probably the second halves of the last two weeks, we've fallen right away. Um, uh, we were in a similar situation back in 98. We, uh, middle of the year, we caught two really bad hidings. And um, we're in the same situation where our team needs to make a decision whether they can step up, uh, step back up to the plate, and that will be asked of them this week. Obviously, there's a few boys that aren't playing at their best, and uh, we need to make a few changes. Uh, beaten by a very good side today in Carlton, uh, probably at their peak of their form at the moment. We couldn't go with them, especially in the last, uh, last quarter, probably halfway through the third, we couldn't go with them. Um, you know, it was just a, uh, a very, very disappointing effort in the second half of the last two weeks. And is, is today more worrying because you started, I mean, you didn't put it on the board necessarily, but you actually started very well? We started really well the week before as, as well. I guess the thing that's uh, really disappointing to uh, everyone around the Melbourne Footy Club and our supporters is just the way we've ended the last two weeks. And we need to have a look at that and address that. But, uh, you know, our season's on the line as... Um, and uh, we've got to stand up next week. Do they coming. drop their heads a bit too easily, you feel, some of them? <coughs> um, uh, the evidence today was that we did, and that's uh, something that we've spoken about already. Um, but uh, we can't undo that now. All we can do is, uh, is uh, put up a lot stronger effort against uh, the term we play next week. Just pedal it straight over. Long kick into... Oh, there are always turning points. For Jeff Farmer, it was his second half in round 14. For Melbourne, it might have been that day in June when it walloped Collingwood and restored so much pride and confidence. All but level at half-time, Uze provided the spark, White took over in the ruck, Leon Challey and Rigoni were back to their best, and then of course to finish it off was the whiz. He'd come off the bench at the 10-minute mark of the third quarter 
and helped himself to nine goals. Can he set it up? Scotty Burns is the target. Whelan's going to close. That takes a ripper. Goes wide, finds Beams. 60 metres out, the Demons into attack. Neitz looks dangerous. He's got it, second grab, no. Jukovic to Richardson. He was slow, run down, great chasing. And Rigoni finds a loose player in Powell. To lead by three points, Powell. Has kicked it. They're in front. Lockyer to bring the ball back into play. 7-7 the Demons, 7-3 the Pies. Goes short. Like he was looking for Orchard. Changed his oh. mind and kicks it straight to Ben Beams. What a turnover. So Beams to extend the lead to 10 points. 45 metres out. Demons in front by 10. So a big test for the Pies here. And their midfield has been pretty good, but at the moment they're just being a little bit overwhelmed. McDonald sending it out to Uze. Good distance on the kick. Run with it, Farmer. And he takes the mark. And gets it. Again, a very ordinary kick. Still like the look of uh, him, I don't <laughs> Not so much now, has he? <laughs> Just flopped off the boot. So the Demons with a bit more life on the legs in this third term. Jeff White finds Leon Chally. Marks in front of Rocker to centre-half forward. This time, Neitz must take a mark. Neitz from just outside of 50. It's going. It's going. It's gone. Travis Johnson sometimes, given his skills. Oh dear, hang on. Oh. Well done, Jeff Farmer. Leon Davis coming off. As Farmer drills it. His second. Jeff Farmer on screen. The Wizard has kicked two goals in this third term. He might kick three. The Wizard! Shares the ball along with O'Bree, pumps the ball back. But Ferris ran with the fly of the ball. It was a tough one. Whelan to Walsh to Swartz into the centre square. Great play. Finds Johnston. Travis Johnston just still trying to really become a permanent player with the Demons. He's kicked a goal. He's 45 metres out. Wonderful kick. It's out to 40 points now. It was only three at half time. So a terrific quarter by the Demons. And here they go again out of the middle. Probing kick. Oh, Neitz almost. Burns. Well tackled by McDonald. The pressure was still on. Hurry kick forward from Uze right to the point of the square. Robinson. And he wants to go on and make sure of it. Another one to the Dees. White, another tap, that's 15 for the day. Uze, another kick, that's 23 for the day. White, another mark, that's eight for the day. White's kick, oh, Farmer! It was almost an accident, that wasn't it, just cleared. Farmer, four marks, three goals straight, and now four goals straight. A shirt back with Uze. Looks down looking for uh, McDonald. Did well with a good body work. Got past Orchard. Then just arched the back. Ran to 50. Here comes the wizard! You'd put us in a white coat and send us home. The wizard kicks five. Batheris pumps the ball back. Oh. And needs just too tall for the Curia. For Jugovic. And goes short. And finds McDonald. Loose players, some sloppy checking. Phoebe just shares the ball with Neitz to the square. Farmer looks dangerous. He's got it. And in 22 minutes, he's kicked five goals. Now he's going for goal number six. 
Jeff Farmer. Six goals to the Wizard. Fair point. Walsh and the Melbourne fans will be happy. They combine well to get out of the fence. Walsh can go probing. Neitz has just got that lurking look about him as he came charging out. Could have been free in Swartz. Terrific play, James McDonald. Farmer for number seven. Yes, sirree. McDonald pumps it long. Farmer. He's got it. Now you see him, now you don't. There was a puff of smoke. He just pulled a football out of the hat. He's going for five goals in this last quarter. He's going for eight for the game. Jeff Farmer, take a bow. You have been magnificent. But, uh, well, we know that Simon Beaumont kicked eight goals in the first half against Collingwood. Yep. I dare say Plugger Ooh. has kicked uh, more than that for when he was playing with Sydney against Fitzroy. Well, guess who? He's got it again. Let's hope he has a shot. He's not wasting any time. Fairly tough kick. Nothing's tough for Jeff. Oh, he can do it all. Well. Melbourne by 11 goals and their biggest win over the old enemy since the second semi-final of 1964. Hawthorne going to the left, Salmon goes to ground, first blood to white. Danaher had reason to be pleased with the win and that delight was compounded when the Wiz kicked seven and Uze was again dominant against Hawthorne. For the second week in a row it had been Uze's work rate plus four goals and the finishing touch of Farmer that had rebalanced the Melbourne hopes. Rigoni was given the huge task of blanketing Brownlow medalist Shane Crawford and he added to the Hawks' season of misery with a masterly performance. Uze was off, he gets clear, he's inside 50, Melbourne looking to finish the half on a high and they are. Only a couple of minutes ago and uh, he tells us that Kevin Shetty was in the rooms pre-match pre talking to the players. Okay, here we go then, the second half and it is Phoebe for Melbourne who gets a kick down towards half forward. Chick unable to track it, Robertson did well, gives it off to Uze. Melbourne have made a habit of getting a flying start, Powell lost it. Farmer off the ground, there's the wizard at work again. <laughs> oh golly. Nice little deflection gets that ball out to Phoebe. And he kicks well up towards uh, centre wing. The mark was dropped, but they're able to play on now. That was Paul Wheatley, who spent a lot of time on the bench. In towards half forward. Farmer taken out of it. At the back is Walsh. If it sits, he's in business. He'll get away from Salmon. He's going to get around Lekas. And he does so now. He bends it in towards Farmer. Farmer, the wizard, takes it. Plays on. And he kicks a goal. Farmer oh, whizzes in town again. Let's see what he can do. He can really hurt the Hawks here, but he's a long way. And he's on a tight angle. It's into the square. It's a lovely looking kick at the back. At the back. Here we go. Here's Uze from Farmer. It's another one. Melbourne are on a roll. Goes over the centre. Up towards half forward and Holland. Couldn't take the mark. Waiting down his rock. Now a chance for Hawthorne. Crow couldn't take the mark. Well, Woden will clear again. Game of defences at the moment as Walsh gets it away. They're back towards the centre. Check leads in the race to the outer side with Robertson. Robertson gets a kind bounce. Gives the hand pass clear towards his teammate in Wheatley. Started the to change and now he finds Neitz. Neitz has got the wizard. Here he is. 192 career goals. 193 career goals. And five for the day as the Wiz is trying to blow the Hawks away on his own. Short kick to Smith. Pounced on this time by Johnston. Centre wing. Penetrating kick. Hay caught from behind. Nicholson in front. Loose ball. The tackler was Lekas. Taken oh. away by Uze, the danger man. Quick snap. Another great oh. goal. Adam Uze. Magnificent. He's got four. In the meantime, the bounce has taken place. Wheatley close to the line. McCabe right there with him. There's Crowd. Thompson loses it. Here he is again. 
Here he is again. He's got it. So where did he pull that one from, Jared? Yeah, Thompson into the ruck. And the Hawks looking for some inspiration from somewhere because this has been an embarrassing last 15 minutes for them. Here's Crowed. Talis lost it. And there's been a whistle. It's going the way of Melbourne. It's been all one-way traffic virtually, KB, since quarter time. Powell can stroll into the open goal. He can almost stop for lunch. He does. He gives it to Johnston. And Travis kicks a goal. He gets his first. Final quarter, what can Hawthorne do to get back into this game? They're down by seven straight kicks. And Daniel Chick has got the job on Jeff Farmer in this term. White a slaps it down, taken by Ragoni every quarter. Melbourne have started like Grease lightning out of the block. And here's the whiz for number seven. Nine goals last week. He shoots for number seven. What an interesting kick. Sausage. Ragoni has uh, worn him very closely and he's also had 20 odd touches. So he's done it again yeah. then, David Swartz, yep. uh, going forward and elected to balk his opponent. But he's finally found Wheatley and he dashes in towards goal. He slips on his rump, but he's kicked a sensational goal. And he salutes the fans. Well done, Paul Wheatley. Bring pass in towards half forward. Powell rides the bump and he rides it pretty well. Thought about Ragoni once and twice. Now Ragoni straightens up. 55 from home. Goes for the doctor with a long bomb. Oh, Melbourne, it's raining goals. Guy Ragoni gets in on the action now. That is his first. Goes short, Ragoni. 27 possessions and two goals to Guy Ragoni. Powell, the playmaker. Oh. Wrong option. Oh, beautiful play. But magnificent. <laughs> Runs hard. Just wobbles the ball inside 50. <laughs> Rawlings has to take on Nicholson. Now, this could be dangerous here for the Hawks because the Wizard is there. Nicholson does well. Keeps the ball alive. Green, a centering kick. The big fish has to beat Johnston. Oh, Gives the ball might. back. Robinson can snap a goal. Oh, yeah. Take a bow, Travis Johnston. Farmer's seven taking him to 45 for the season. Uze, White and the Wiz just terrific. Two. And White goes up and thumps it down towards half forward and Leon Chelly. Hurried kick finds Powell. In a complete reversal of their first round clash, Melbourne led Richmond into the final term at the MCG, then had to withstand a withering final quarter blitz from the Tigers. Bounce deep in their left forward pocket region. Schwartz, hand pass, wider still. Ragoni, snapshot of goal. He's kicked it. Melbourne by 10. Gergic, the man who dropped the mark, comes up, gets it. Robertson, back towards Gergic, taken by James McDonald. Uze releases him on the left side, pulls it back. Good looking effort. Looking back, it was hard to go past the performance of Anthony McDonald, who picked up 33 possessions and took 10 marks in a best on ground performance. The ruck supremacy of Jeff White or the defence of Anthony Ingerson. While Danaher saw his men move into the top four, that night Melbourne's greats past and present gathered at the Palladium Room at Crown Casino to honour the club's team of the century.
Jake's handball. Eventually it's Powell who can kick them wide. Steady Ingwo Woden. First goal of the match. Yes! We could only be left wondering after the Kangaroos blasted in 11 goals in one quarter in the round 17 clash at Colonial. They might have been just a shadow of their past might, but the Kangaroos had enough to hold on by a point. That, uh, in his third game, what a time it would be for his first goal of the year. Takes the mark, he can run around Spider Burton, the handball to Jeff White, so the two Ruckman combining. White took a long time to steady, to straighten himself up and give Melbourne first blood of the second half. Well done, Alistair Nicholson really directed the punch. Nathan Brown was going to be crunched, sets it up. Farmer's got to go against three. Green from the side was fantastic. Oh, Brown fumbled, couldn't afford to. Ragoni, Wowoden, rode the bump and kicked the goal. Great stuff. Great mark from Wheatley. Oh, Swartz took a long time to kick the ball, wobbling in. Bruce hooks it back. He hooks it back. McDonald able to get it off. They stopped the kangaroo. Uze sets it up again. Bruce couldn't take it. To Farmer, he's come good. Just when they needed it. The midfielders were Woden, Powell, Ragoni, and McDonald battled hard all night. Were Woden and Green each kicking three. Good strength. Gets it away, Woden needs clean hands, does well to McDonald, should run in, should kick a goal. Melbourne showed it too was capable of one quarter of sustained brilliance. In a tight match against the Swans in round 18, Melbourne kicked 8-3 in that final quarter, moved into the top four on the ladder yet again. Pounced on and some dancing feet that time by Johnson, goes short, finds Green, didn't hit his target, Regoni was a bit hot, well backed up by Uze, runs to 50, unloads, big kick. Big goal. Kick and a half to goal from there. Troy Simmons told to play on. Had to get rid of it quickly. Not a bad kick considering. Schwartz in front. Wide at the back. Playing the role of Rover. Top goal by a big man. Walsh the hand pass over the top. On the run is Simmons. McDonald to the goal square. All the way. Goal. There's a ball winning machine from the back edge of the centre square. Pumps it high. Schwartz caught from behind. Shoved out, Farmer plays the ball in front, the Wizard, now you see him, now you don't. Now he's Farmer with four goals, top 50 for the season, and another great game from Shane Wo Woden. Scores a level, interesting opening term, Rucks go at it. Surikoski the roll continued against St Kilda a week later. This was the day at Colonial when Travis Johnson and Peter Walsh went down in sickening clashes and James McDonald injured his knee. Despite this, the Demons broke away after half-time to win by 18 points. So important getting that double chance during the finals. So it'll test some of the character of Melbourne today. White from that centre square, looking for McDonald, Delaney. He's quick, closed quickly. Chance for Leon Chelly. Just shovel the ball out to McDonald. Has to backtrack and retreat, back to Woe Woden, good 70 metres out, kicks a high ball. Simmons looks dangerous, got his hands on it, couldn't take it, Powell tried to just bustle his way through, Simmons goes to the ground, kicked off the ground by Powell! <laughs> kicks a goal! Barry Hall does the shepherding as well, Chad Davis oh. caught in two minds. Swartz from the edge of the centre square, pumps the ball wide, Leon Chelly will mark, inside 50. Loose player, and Farmer's got it. What will the Wizard do? It's a look away kick, and it's going to bounce through! <laughs> uh, degree of difficulty, 8.8. <laughs> the Wizard Farmer across half-back, going for a gallop. Wants to draw an opponent. Does so to Powell. Some fancy footwork back to the wizard. Oh. Didn't get the bounce he wanted. It wasn't a kind one. It was an ugly one. Burke goes on hands and knees. Taken away by Baker. Done a pretty good job playing on Wo Woden. Short kick towards the boundary line. Wo Woden closes quickly. Keeps the ball alive and kick. pumps it back inside 50. White looks dangerous. He's got it. So your reputation is on the line, Dennis. <laughs> Directly in front. Jeff White. Straight through, straight through the middle. 
<laughs> made his debut round two against the Saints last season has become a very reliable, dependable defender. He got it in short, and they'll work it away. Collins gave it to McDonald, who kicks to midfield. Schwartz has got it now, told to play on. Oh, Spots Uze. Robertson. Robertson has taken the mark. Or is it Uze? It's Uze. And this would punish them. If he can kick a goal here, Melbourne right back in the hunt. It's a long kick. It's a pretty good-looking effort. I think he's got it. Uze from long range. Yeah, dogged by injury, though, wasn't he, KB? Both at Essendon and with the Dockers. Robinson with strength, shrug of the shoulders to White, they'll share it around, came from McDonald, oh, they really do can see ground, Brown finds an opening to McDonald through the centre square, a casual bounce as well, an arrogant bounce and then he finds Green. He'll put it into the second tier. Right on 50, Brad Green. Big kick. Big goal. <laughs> Across to Knowles. Knowles going for distance down towards half four. Two on one for Melbourne. Whelan came back hard. This is Wheatley. He likes a run with the ball, does Wheatley. This time, elects to kick it up towards the wing. Farmer can go over the top to White. Now he'll run for White again. Look at him go. Although he tripped over. No fault of Charles. White runs to the 50. Well, a bit of zing on that one. I think it was intended for the second man. Green's got it. It whizzed over the head of Gurgic, who I think thought it was intended for him initially. And now Green directly in front, 25 metres out. Simmons is on. And Green, who can kick it a long way, puts this one through. White will need to go. Coming over the top, though, Nicholson, brilliantly done, releases James McDonald, kicks down towards half forward. The mark is taken by Robertson. Johnson. It goes in that direction. Johnson's got it. And he's only 20 metres out. Should kick this one and put the Demons in front. He's done it. Well, they finished with a rush last week in the last quarter against Sydney, Melbourne. They were very good, very strong. White from the centre square again into attack. Robinson claims it. 35 metres out. Quick snap. Bangs it through. Pumps the ball down, Stewie Lowe territory, out in oh, front, he's oh, got it. Mark. Wonderful mark by Stewie Lowe to oh, Tony oh. Brown. Quick hands, chance for McLaren, oh. hits the ball hard. Oh, big clash of players. Lenny Hayes was there as well. Oh. He's oh. in trouble, Welsh. Down is Peter Walsh. Oh. Right on the line, right on the post. Uze unloads. Stewie Lowe tries to snap it through. Oh. Take it Johnson, kicks a goal. Green, the leading goal kicker with three, Uze and Powell the best. Five out from goal, have a little labour handball off Ward, sets the pass up. In the perfect run home, the Wiz kicked eight goals to bring to life what might have been a dreary encounter against Fremantle. Farmer does it the hard way. Oh, he doesn't, he hasn't. He has to make it look harder than it is, and he kicks it. <laughs> Solid contact in the Swartz direction. He put it to Grant, put it in front. Lee and Shelley lays it off. Uze puts it through. Another very disciplined kick for Melbourne. Goes all the way to a, an area about 20 metres out directly in front. Oh, and and Farmer has kicked half a dozen. <laughs> oh, wow. 43, Melbourne 17 oh, 7. Oh, no. Farmer again. Oh, oh he man. handballs. And. <laughs> Goal to Green. Uze gives it to Farmer. Can he get through here? Takes them on. Oh. Come on, Jeff. Have a shot. He does. To the goal of the goal. year. Oh. Oh. Goal of the year. Absolute goal of the year. An 83 point win. Farmer with his eight best on ground. And in fact, he goes out wide first. Collins's kick was good. Woden with Melbourne produced one of its most crucial goal, wins Melbourne, of the season, destroying Geelong in front of more than 75,000. Robertson backing back. Powell lurking. As is this man, Uza. Has to get to his left. He didn't try. Kicked up his right. Oh, don't tell me he's kicked a goal. <laughs> Over the top of it, Lee and Sally did well, though. White yeah, yep. might be able to score and go. Well, uh, he'll, this is a goal. <laughs> 
Collins doing a pretty good job. And well done. The support provided by Uzo. Not always is it the handballer. On a lot of occasions, it's the player who provides the target for the handball. And Adam Uzo goes bang. His kick wasn't perfect. Shoal, well shepherded away. And that allowed Nicholson yeah. to get clear and well woden. This is where they're so damaging. Almost unstoppable. You'd back him for his fall. Well, Woden would again win three votes. Neats kicked five goals, and Anthony McDonald was in sparkling form. It's so damaging, and good distance with a left footer. Farmer and Banfield having a There would be one more test, a visit to Perth to play the Eagles. For Shane Wo Woden, this would be a memorable match for a number of reasons. Despite failing to win a vote in the best and fairest count this day, he grabbed two from the umpires, and those were enough to give him the medal outright from Bulldog Scotty West. And good vision. Uze's been a star for them. Kemp got a touch to it, but couldn't stop it. Getting to Uze, who off the left goes bang and kicks another one. Gergic. Has he been fired up? I was picking him up. Robertson, good mark. Oh, he didn't complete it. Works the ball back. And Uze again. Uze's hand pass to Walsh. Phoebe working forward. Farmer in a bit of room here now. Good hands. Brilliant. To Cameron Bruce. How about that for a goal? Clearly best of field in a runaway 70-point hiding was Adam Uze. This was a new-look Melbourne side out to carve its own piece of history as it finished third in its best home and away season for 36 years. Adam uh, was very consistent throughout the whole game. But I, I just think we're a very even side. We always have been a very even side, and uh, I think we had 12 or 13 goal kicks or whatever it was. I think everyone really contributed today. Uh, big day. It was great to see Bluey kick the goal at the end. We're all barracking for him. And uh, <laughs> um, so what it, it was a great career, and, uh, and um, Western Australian public uh, saw him off in the right way. Do you think you're better prepared for a final series with the experience of 98? I think it'll help, yeah. yeah. Last week was even good, you know, playing in front of 75,000 at the G and beating Geelong into the top four spot, that was like a final, so, you know, we're ready to go. What does it mean to the club just finally? Top three finish, first time since 64, yeah. it's pretty amazing. Oh, it's great for this group of players to be able to achieve that in, uh, still very early in their cycle. Uh, we've only got a young team, it's probably uh, uh, less experienced than Freo's team. We played a couple of weeks ago, so um, for them to know that they've done something that uh, three decades of teams haven't been able to do, and that, um, that's a good start for this group. So 4-4 four, four playing 3-4, Allen the tap. Again, it's a scrap and a fight. Powell quickly under the boot <laughs> and very quickly through the middle. That's his second. The win steered Melbourne away from an opening qualifying final match against the Bombers. Instead, it would be the Blues, and there were fearful memories of that early season hiding. This was the game of the season. 75,000 saw the Demons 27 points down at the last change, and for all the world, out of contention. What a crucial kick for the Demons. No. Oh, maybe still a oh. chance. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Walsh. Peter Walsh looking for options as you would. You've got to kick on the left foot, wouldn't you? Not boomerang. Yep. Well, that man, Hume, can't be 10 metres away. Doesn't matter. Oh, oh he's done it. What a kick. <laughs> what a kick from Peter Walsh. Swartz might go to the square. Now he goes for the pass, and it's good to green. And he's closer to goal this time. So he might be a better matchup for Matt. And he's got about 75 goals to go. <laughs> and they all help. Steve Phoebe's away then, running down towards half forward. They need some marking forwards. Green has been the best of them. And he's marked it again. Well, he's been really the only forward for them. Can he give them something? He's got about a metre of space to work in. Phoebe just got the ball where he needed to. And again, it's Green. This time, though, the angle is very, very tight. Had a shot, son. He stands with the margin at 15. And now it's reduced. What a kick from the young Brad Green. 
Allen, a handball, watch out, he just got the handball away, it was great, McKay, well wrapped up, the pressure's oh. starting to show, Bruce, Bruce, can he kick a goal, he went quickly, and kicks the goal, they're in it now, oh, they are in it now, <laughs> four points the difference at the MCG, had to be one way or the other, the ball in the square, and in the danger area, oh, who's they? Who's they? Watch and Allen. Can't win it, Dennis. I'll have to switch play. Knocked out of there by Leon Chelly across the goal face. Bruce, an unlikely hero, the rookie. The rookie. <laughs> Melbourne by nine points. A pair of unlikely heroes embrace Green and Bruce. Wait for the siren, the ball on the outer side. Great come from behind victory, Melbourne. D is for delighted. They were down by over 30 points, and they have prevailed. So many young faces in there, and so many young players important in the scheme of things today. They chiseled out the result. Bruce's late goal, green after half-time, superb on the forward line. And Carlton are left to wonder. So often, they had this game under control. They didn't take their chances. Melbourne did, and Melbourne... The match winners would be the rookies, Bruce and Green, who had seven kicks between them in the first three terms. They'd kick six between them, and Melbourne would pull off a quite remarkable victory. Obviously, a uh, sensational victory today for the Melbourne Footy Club. Um, really proud of uh, the way the players stuck at it today. Uh, Carlton probably played better footy for probably three of the quarters, weren't able to put us away. In the, uh, at any stage of the game, so we're tenacious enough to be close enough. And then um, in the last quarter, we just got a bit of a sniff, and with a young team, you know, uh, hungry to try and achieve something, we got a bit of a roll on. So a lot of credit to Carlton. That in a lot of ways they're, they're a great club, always very hard to beat. In a lot of ways they'll probably look back at missed opportunities, but we just grabbed ours in the last quarter. Um, and have a, a sensational victory. He looks up towards the half forward line, inside 50. Archer again will come in from the side, but he couldn't. A week off and a showdown with the preliminary final specialists, the Kangaroos. By half time, it was all but over. 63,900 saw Ingerson outpoint the match winner, Carey. Woe Woden run the Ruse midfielders ragged, and Farmer demoralised the all Australian backman picket to end with eight goals. Phoebe comes inside to White, he's 45 metres out, it's a high kick for goal, coming back, great goal by Jeff White. He'll come through the screen here, so Burton and White together, handball by Powell, then Burton pushes forward, Collins very hard at it, and then Woe Woden's got hold of it now, and decides to go long before forward, can Farmer get a run at it, he's at the back, he got rid of Pickett, he's in the left foot, it's rolling through, it's a second goal to Farmer. Tried to straighten up, Carey gets a crack at it, down towards Shoal, missed him where Woden's been so important as he has all year. Collins and Cochran, well done Cochran, but it comes out to the Demons, they seem to have numbers everywhere. Ragoni to McDonald, gee, Neitz was terrific, should have got a free kick, Schwartz should kick a goal, lines them up, and does. So, and Clayton comes on for Capuano, so he wasn't out there very long, they're looking for a bit of a run. G, well done by Schwartz to Gergic, oh. check side goal. Oh. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Oh. We'll have to go again, that was a little too short and not too pretty. Stevens couldn't take it. Leoncelli oh. slaps it back to Powell. Powell from 52 metres. A long bomb by Powell. It's a goal. It's a goal. Well, Woden got it in short. He's just stacking up, getting possessions. And then, good long kick. Neitz has got it. Martin went to ground. Bruce, you talk about where Wayne's oh, the player. Neitz is on. Right to the goal square. Uze's got it. And Uze kicks the goal. He's just, he's just pushing in for the kill now. Comes in board, Alistair Nicholson. 
plays on quickly. I think Melbourne's coming in for the kill. Ward flicks it in towards half forward. Powell, off the pack he goes, and he kicks a goal. Johnston inside Woden. to Woe Woden to Phoebe, and Phoebe goes to full forward. Farmers at the back. He's got it. He's kicked five, the Wiz. Oh, he's angry and happy. Does so with ease. The Demons have got the numbers. They could raffle this. Comes back towards Collins. Takes the hand pass from McDonald. Kicks towards half forward. McCartney came over the top. Could have almost interfered with Cameron Bruce. Clever little toe poke. Powell, you can kick another one. He steadies. He shoots. And he goals. And they're hot. He'll steady to the outer side. Melbourne through Daniel Ward has the last kick and the Demons are back in a finals race, back in the grand final, their first since 1988 and a chance to win their first flag since 1964. Farmer with his eight, Powell and Woe Woden the standouts. The biggest week in football has its traditional start, this time Melbourne in the very thick of it. Woe Woden, three votes. Woe Woden kicks to the front, it's oh. a goal! It's a goal from Woe Woden. Maybe Anthony McDonald can do something. Kicks it towards Woe Woden. Takes a strong mark. So far, just one behind. Woe Woden, 45 degree angle. Guides it through for their first goal of the turn. Melbourne, S.Y. Woden, three votes. Pumps the ball back, Rigoni. Point of the square, Woe Woden again, he's got it. The best midfield players in the competition this season. He's been magnificent today. Can he finish it with a goal? He hammers it home. Melbourne, S.Y. Woden, three votes. He kicked them wide. Steadying Woe Woden. First goal of the match, yes! Rigoni, Woe Woden, rode the bump and kicked the goal! Great stuff! Woe Woden within range from 50. They need a goal, Melbourne, and this is it! Well shepherded away, and that allows Lots Nicholson yeah. to get clear in Woe Woden. This is where they're so damaging. Almost unstoppable. You'd back him for his fall. Shane Woe Woden! Melbourne, S. Woe Woden. Cameron Bruce has been picked up by Andrew Embley. The two 32s on each other. And Bruce has kicked the last two goals in the game. Woe Woden bursts out of the middle and burns on Cousins to kick another goal. Melbourne, S. Powell, one vote. Melbourne, S. Woe Woden. Melbourne, A. Uze, three votes. And therefore, I have much pleasure in declaring Shane Woe Woden is the winner of the 2000 Brownlow Medal. Expectations are a funny thing. The demons can't believe they've done it. The Bombers simply had to. The preliminaries are over and the players realise they'll be there on football's biggest day. But some loyal supporters soon realise they won't. Very unhappy. By Monday there's some sense of normality 
the bombers hit the training track. But this week is like no other. There's more of everything. More fans, more hype, and of course, more media. Everything is under scrutiny. It's the stuff Kevin Sheedy thrives on. Matthew Lloyd is just relieved to be out there as the news comes through that he won't face a video charge from a clash with Glenn Manton. But Monday is really about one thing, the Brownlow medal. I think Nathan Buckley, I think Cooter was outstanding in the middle of the year, but I think Buckley um, had a lot more outstanding games. You think Nathan Buckley? I mean, he polls well and he's obviously had a fantastic season. Cooter Ferdy's West will all be worth, very, very worthy winners. And what about Nick Holland? How many votes will he get? Um, I personally counted about 24. <laughs> that should just about get him over Yeah, line. I think so. So we're looking at a, the Brownlow medalist. Congratulations, Nick. Yes, thanks very much. I'd uh, like to thank my mum and my dad, especially my parents. It is a relaxing night for most of the football community. The season is over, but not for the favourites. Nervous, they all predict others to win. But for one, life is about to change. I think uh, Scotty West will win the award tonight. I think he's, uh, he deserved it. Such a consistent season and uh, great performance in the midfield all year for the Western Bulldogs. How do you go as far as tonight goes, considering the, uh, the big week that's ahead? Yeah, well, obviously uh, we're on the waters all night, which uh, was a goal of ours uh, last week, and uh, we'll take it easy and uh, just have a quiet night. Enjoy the waters. Thanks a lot. Melbourne, S. Y. Woden. The joy for the demons is overwhelming everyone, and even the coach gets caught up in it. Yeah. All of a sudden, we're on a bit of a wave. One of their mates have won a brown load. Yeah. Hang on, what's going on here? The next morning, and everyone wants a piece and just one more shot of Shane Wowoden. The special guest at the Carbine Club, his mind has already turned to more important matters. And in the afternoon, he's on more familiar territory, the MCG, as the Demons have their first hit out for the week. For the media, it's the last chance to talk to the players. After this, there's no interviews, and the coach is the only spokesman. The full senior squad are training, but some like Matthew Phoebe have heavy hearts knowing they won't be selected on Saturday. The fans though are practicing with gusto. Wednesday and it's another appointment for Woe Woden, this time with the kids at the Grand Final Super Clinic. Back at Windy Hill and if possible the media throng has grown even bigger. And while they wait, some dream of what might have been. The real things line up for their place in football history. The focus then turns to Darren Buick and Mark Johnson, who do enough to prove their fitness. Thursday, and somehow Kevin Sheedy finds time to take part in a vigorous debate about whether a woman should be on the AFL commission. I've only come to one, perhaps, one problem. That the only woman I met in the AFL at any meeting was this year that cost me seven thousand five hundred dollars <laughs> thank you very much the junction oval hasn't seen this many people or had this much attention in years what could be better for the demons fans than a lamb chop and the chance to cheer on the boys joseph gutnick knows he won't see the game but he's seen enough to know he's got a good return on his investment the only problems for the red and the blue, heavy rain and the fitness of Cameron Bruce. Both worries soon pass, Bruce included as both sides name unchanged lineups. Friday and the schools must be half empty. Children are everywhere as grand final week celebrations come to a spectacular end. Yeah, it's been a big week. Uh, you know, the start of the week was, it was exciting, it's low key now, but this is the big one we've been waiting for and uh, experience with Schwartz, it's been great. This is special, but uh, tomorrow hopefully will be even more special. I can't remember anything about 88, and uh, I really want to stress the guys that this is the time to remember it, and uh, you'll have this for the rest of your lives. And while everyone is thinking of tomorrow, it's hard not to get caught up in the moment as the captains get one last chance to get their hands on the prize. And then, as if there's any questions that hadn't yet been asked, there's time for one more media conference. But I guess the dream's about running on down the race in the last game of the year. I guess that's where, that's what you dream about. That's what it's all about. It's fantastic today, but it's a great tradition. As you can see, just coming out behind me now, led by their captain, David Neach. Melbourne haven't made the grand final since 88, so I'm sure each and every one of these players are set to play a huge part in today's game. 
For the first time since 1988, Melbourne was through to the grand final and ready for a week like nothing in sport. one through the banner is a little bloke from Tambala, a wheat farming town in Western Australia. We know him affectionately as the wizard and it may just be his day. Let's go down to Hutto and he's got Neil Danaher with him, Anthony. Thanks Bruce. Well Neil, the moment's arrived. Yeah, and uh, a big day. Yeah, I want to take it all in. You made a tough decision with Cameron Bruce. Yeah, it was. It's always unfortunate for someone to miss out. But we won the go in with a side that was 100%. What were your last instructions to the boys? Uh, win the ball. <laughs> what are you expecting at the start? Uh, typical grand final, helter-skelter. So it's important that we settle down early and get up the footy. And it's OK. Fine speed. Off to Ragoni. Ragoni has got Woe Woden running through half-back. Under pressure, he gets his kick just in time towards centre wing, towards Peter Walsh. He needs support and he gets it. Up towards Schwartz. The Ox backs back into the pack. Couldn't take the mark. Robertson is waiting now, but he won't get a chance. Hardwick defends to the outer side. Only as far as McDonald. Now here's a chance for the knees of the player at Powell. Streaming towards goal. He shoots. And the Demons reply. Stephen Powell gets his third. The Bombers sting on the rebound there, don't they? 2-1 to 1-2. On this warmish, brilliant day now with the sun shining brightly and again wide over the top. Woe Woden can't get clear. Handball by Blumfield, just missed his target. Good tackle on Heffernan. Ball comes loose to Woe Woden. Woe Woden tries to draw the man and then goes long to fall forward. Meets underneath and Mark Johnson has made a remarkable recovery from last week. Oh. Takes a chance, has hurled oh. up. Here's power to kick his second and he's done it. The demons are in front. The crowd seeing the replay, not happy, especially in the Melbourne members area. Four, six plays, two, three. Yes. Woe Woden out of the middle. Can the demons reply? With just under four minutes remaining, kicks up towards the forward line. Hardwick was a fly, but he couldn't take the mark. Solomon's been good. Meets tries to keep it back in play. He gives it over the back. Here's a chance for the reply, and they get it straight away from Green. The youngster's done it again. Who's that off the ground? Ben Bean's on. He struggled to say, hasn't he, in this uh, first half. So he's off and Beams gets his first run. Beams coming in for Bruce. But the Bombers are way on top here. And the Demons need something. Maybe their Brownlow medalists can do it for them. Woe Woden's probing kick. Neitz has got it. He was fending off Fletcher. Just has to kick it, doesn't he? Won't get a better chance to bring the Demons back into it. He's put it straight through the middle. Melbourne's first tilt at a premiership since 1988 ended in defeat. Just as the Demons under John Northey fell to the power side of the 80s in Hawthorne, they would run headlong into one of the greatest sides of modern days in Essendon. A week later, Shane Woe Woden would add the Bluey Truscott Trophy to his cabinet to cap off a great season. A year in which so many young men came of age.